All right, here's our next example. We want to determine the conversions of this series here, which again has sort of one geometric term and a p-series term. Minus instead of plus. We already dealt with the plus sign example. That was like our very first example that we did, right? We said, hey, we can compare with either the geometric or the p-series, simple inequality, direct comparison, done. The minus sign makes it a lot harder to set up direct comparisons, so we say, okay, how else can we determine the convergence? Um, maybe we try for a limit comparison. And now, of course, if you're going to try for a limit comparison, you've got to decide what are you going to compare to, the geometric part, the p-series part. Um, probably safer to compare with the geometric part. Uh, exponential functions grow a lot faster than polynomial functions, so the 3 to the n is going to dominate long term. So we compare to that, right? So solution looks like this. Okay, so we have an is 1 over 3 to the n minus n squared. And we want to compare to bn, and our bn will be 1 over 3 to the n. Okay, and we should probably point out that this is, if we do the corresponding series, n equals 1 to infinity, 1 over 3 to the n is convergent, because it's geometric, right? It's a convergent geometric series. We're good to go. All right. Let's take the limit. So the limit, n going infinity, a n over b n. Again, dividing by the reciprocal, we multiply by 3 to the n. 3 to the n minus n squared. Once again, infinity over infinity. Um, if we use L'Hopital's rule twice, right, first time around, oh, you know what, let's just do it. Because um, it's an exponential, but uh, it's not base e, it's base 3, we get 3 to the n, log 3, 3 to the n, log 3, minus 2n, okay, um, maybe we should put the little h here, L'Hopital's rule. Uh, we're going to do L'Hopital's rule one more time. Limit n going to infinity, uh, 3 to the n times log 3, now squared. Don't worry about it, it's a constant. 3 to the n log 3 squared minus 2, let n go to infinity, the minus 2 doesn't matter, right? We get 1 in the limit. And usual story, maybe I'll, I'll skip writing down the answer because I want to tell you one more thing, but from here we say, okay, the limit is 1, so that's our L, L is bigger than 0, it's less than infinity. We know that this series converges, now we know that this series converges by limit comparison. Um, now, you might have been wondering, what if you, what if you kind of like, I don't know, you messed up. It's not really messed up, but maybe you decided to compare with n squared instead, right? What if you did, if you did bn equals 1 over n squared, and you say, hey, that's, that gives me a convergent p-series. What would I get then? Well, if I did that, then a n over b n, I would get instead, I would get n squared over 3 to the n minus n squared. And we try to take the limit. And again, you can use L'Hopital's rule a couple of times, and you find that this is going to go to 0 as n goes to infinity. Um, right? We don't get a finite value. We get 0. So did limit comparison, did it fail? Not exactly. Puts us in case 2. Limit is 0, the BN series converges, right? It's a convergent P series, so we know the ANs converge as well. Okay? Either way, it works. 
That's the nice thing about limit comparison. There's a fair amount of wiggle room. There's cushion built in, right? It's not quite as sensitive to small mistakes one way or the other. Limit comparison is sort of a blunt instrument. It gets the job done.